Hi guys, I did a poll over on Patreon for you on which fragrance note you would like me to feature next. And lo and behold, Incense Fragrances won! I'm excited to talk about the top incense fragrances out there. Frankincense is a material, it's a resin that is burnt and has been used for spirituality across the ages. It's quite a sophisticated scent. It can actually smell quite clean if it's a cold incense. And if it's a warm incense, well, it smells warm and inviting and nice for chillier times. The most iconic incense line is probably the one by Comme des Garçons. There are, I believe, five incenses now in that fragrance line. So different variations on incense. The OG is Avignon, which basically smells like a church. So you get straightforward frankincense. But if you go all the way back to 1975, L'Eau was released by Diptyque. And this is one of the first fragrances from Diptyque, it might have even been their actual first. You have to go to the back of the boutique for this one. Sometimes you have to ask them for it because it's just not a, a newer release, let's say, which is such a shame because 1975 and still very, very relevant today. This is cold frankincense and myrrh, if you've ever smelled one. Woo, this smells like something that I would want my bath to smell like. If I could just have this in a bath oil form, or perhaps a candle form, I need to look that up. Uh, <laughs> this would be absolutely wonderful. But Le Trois by Diptyque, 1975, the most straightforward OG frankincense and myrrh. So this video is discussing fragrances that actually really do incorporate frankincense or give off a naturalistic, realistic scent of incense, which is actually quite hard to come by. It's just not a popular theme at the moment, but it really is something cool. It's a meditative scent. It's a sophisticated scent. It's something that you're not gonna smell all over the place. It's a vibe, okay? So the next one is by Tom Daxon. It's called Reza Sacra. So <laughs> this is, you know, sacred resins. It's frankincense again and myrrh, but it's a little bit warmer than just pure cold olibanum slash frankincense, it's the same thing, uh, that you get from Le Trois, which is like pulled back and simplistic. Raison Sacra is burning frankincense that is warm and warmed up with benzoin and sandalwood. So benzoin is, you know, a little bit on the ambery side of things. So it just does get a little bit more warm and inviting. And this smells like resins that are burning on a hearth. It's a really beautiful yet straightforward um, incense fragrance. The next one is a go-to incense for me when I'm looking for something that's easy to wear and easy reach incense. Like I just want incense, I want it to match any type of weather, any type of vibe, any type of occasion, outfit, etc. I go for this one by Rose et Marius. It's called Une Flannerie sur l'Oratoire. Somebody please let me know what l'Oratoire is. I'm guessing it's like, so a stroll through a loratory, which I'm assuming is like a religious area because this is definitely giving religious with that olibanum and the myrrh. And you got pine added to this. You got ever so slight spices as well, but this is still a cold incense. I feel that this is one of those cold chic incenses. And something people don't talk about is how well incenses wear in AC. If you're in an air conditioned area, or if you live in the Southern Hemisphere and you've got lots of fans on, a cold olibanum slash frankincense slash incense will wear so beautifully in the AC. Incense has some sort of cooling facet to it. It's like, when I smell this, I feel like some cold breeze is passing through me. Um, <laughs> let me know in the comments if you agree, incense heads. But this one is, yeah, just so good to wear. If you like a little bit of pine in your fragrances, pine can also be warm, but this pine is nice and cooling in uh, Une Flannerie Sous l'Oratoire. I don't know why more people don't talk about this one. Honestly, why do not more people talk about this one? It is just such an easy wear for a gentle, delicate incense. It's not too much. The next one <laughs> is interesting because there is no frankincense listed in the notes, no incensey vibes, but it smells like cold incense. Notes listed are cold steel, aldehydes, ice, patchouli, but it's called Kraft and the brand is called Andrea Mack. This is a Icelandic brand 
and they've rebranded their black bottles now. This is their OG design, which I really miss. This was like some cool stone. And this is one of the brands that's resurfaced thanks to TikTok. And uh, for an original frake head as myself, <laughs> it gets a bit annoying with the new TikTokers being like, I discovered this new brand and it's like, ah, they've been around for ages, you know, um, because PR product was sent to them. So <laughs> not being bitter, but I did buy this uh, many years ago actually. And I've been savoring it because I don't want the new packaging, yada, yada, a whole other story, but Craft by Andrea Mack really cool fragrance really cool metallic -y fragrance but try to keep the actual notes out of your mind and you're going to smell incense this is like the coolest incense this is like frankincense that's remade in some futuristic way because this brand is icelandic and icelandic people are so cool and futuristic craft by andrea mack check it out the next fragrance is called Ensemble Asakusa. Asakusa is in Japan. So this is hailing, you know, a more Eastern incense versus a Western, but I don't actually agree with that. I still get a really cold incense. So for me, Eastern incenses are, think more like Buddhist temples, Hindu temples, warm, 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 warm. Um, Western are cold. It's frankincense, it's cold walls, it's church, 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 church. <laughs> so uh, there you go, that's the difference. This bottle is actually a bottle of another one that I have from L'Orchestre Parfum, but I used to have Ansa Asakusa. And that is straight up frankincense, again, cold, olibanum. You know, the incense just uh, burning off of the stick, except it's also added a modern take of a chemical vibe that makes it amplified and that makes it fit into the modern times. So it's some sort of ambroxony dry down and pairing the aroma chemical with the incense is just a modern way of doing incense. So this is the first one, Ensemble Azakusa. Another modern take on incense is Terrible Teddy by Penhaligans, this cool rhino head right here. Don't fall for the packaging. Don't fall for the packaging, okay? Don't buy it for that reason. <laughs> I keep saying on this channel. So Terrible Teddy, another one that wears beautifully in the AC. And Abroxin, the aroma chemical, wears beautiful in AC as well. So this has incense in the top. It's a little bit leathery as well, like leather is listed in the notes. But you do get that incense and the Abroxin. Uh, quite a bit. So it's got a kind of warm facet with that leatheriness. And this is a fragrance that is a crowd pleaser. Like when I wear this and with the Broxen, thanks to the aroma chemicals amplifying it, people smell me and people notice me. And um, if that's something that you are looking for, then try out Terrible Teddy. Okay, the next one you may have heard of through Freycom and also on this channel. Um, <laughs> it's Mandala by Mask Milano. I have the 30 mil, I have the 100 mil. You rarely see anyone invest in 100 mil of Mask Milano, but I had a phase where I was just crazy for Mandala and I still am. There's just, whew, this is like one of the uniquer incenses because there's something about adding space. There's some expansion in the center of this fragrance that makes you feel like pulpiness, something like fruity in the center of it, except it's not listed at all. So it could just be my imagination, but the texture of this, Chris Cabonel, how did you do it? Okay, <laughs> perfumer, how did you do it? Just something magical about this. So the frankincense, the myrrh and some spices added to that as well, some cloves and some cinnamon, and you got ambergris in here as well. That could be a facet that's adding this uniqueness to mandala. And a mandala is one of those like spinning pendulums, right? So it's kind of hypnotizing. So this fragrance is definitely hypnotic. If you're looking for not a straightforward in incense, but an unusual incense, but still quite easy to wear, not that hard to wear. <laughs> not sweet maybe ever so slightly like this is just uh it's got so many different sides to it it does come off as clean as well 
so you do get that cold incense my love for unusual incenses brought me to sous le manteau is the brand vapeur diablotine this one takes it up a notch even takes it up a notch from mandala if you're looking for the next thing you have mandala and you want the next step this one it's got the incense but it's also got some spices it's got clove in there it's got some animalics it's got styrax it's got vetiver it's got castorium it's like what is this it's tonka beanie it's patchouli it's musk it's it's like some graded texture there's a brand called joram studio that's really good at doing this as well i feel like this fragrance could fit into the joram studio line like it's got some gritty texture like putting rocks in your mouth kind of when you were a kid like if you were a toddler and you like kind of ate rocks or wanted to chew them like it's got some cool texture in it that makes me want to go like want to chew on something <laughs> um i know how they did it but very unique then we have one of my favorite fragrances period i would say like this is what made me discover a lab on fire. It's called Liquid Night. This is incense with Hinoki wood. This is like really great for being out in nature, like nature walks. I love Liquid Night. It's pungent. It's also aromatic. There's also a note of saffron in here, which saffron just adds this luxurious edge to anything um, that you put it into and it's just phenomenal it feels something like a match being lit i actually have these incense things from japan that you burn and it smells similar to liquid night i've shown them in one of my home videos you take a strip and you burn it if i could find them i would <laughs> and that hinoki wood that japanese hinoki wood style burning is kind of reminiscent of liquid night it's like a woo it wakes you up really good stuff if you're an incense aficionado and you've explored the different avenues with incense i mean we're really sticking to real incense but let's say they ha had a little spice at a little flavor 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 <laughs> throwback a match made in heaven is incense and lily if you know you know if you're in the church spaces but get your head out of that like don't think religion just think smells okay so lily is such an underrated flower like lily i've really opened my eyes to and the reason was this all began with me combining lily with incense or trying to smell that the fragrance that introduced me to this combination was passage d'enfer by l'artisan parfumeur i finished my whole bottle of that one and um, l'artisan parfumeur like they're quite light and the loveliness of that fragrance is that it is light like you cannot make it heavy if you make it heavier it's going to lose that appeal so this one is along the same lines it's called relique d'amour by oriza l le grand and <laughs> this one i've spoken about before this takes passage d'enfer by l'artisan parfumeur start there if you're trying to try a lily and incense combination in bottle form this one takes that and just brings it up a notch because it places this lily and incense in this old mossy church where you also feel the coldness of the walls of this old mossy church that's placed inside an old castle in medieval france that's what this smells like I just <laughs> it's mind-blowing like the texture in this one the way it just brings you to this place literally this place right here it's got descriptive notes in here like waxen woods but i feel these cold walls like i seriously feel these cold walls <laughs> try this one out it's a cooling fragrance as well like i said churchy means cooling uh temple means warming so Okay, actually, I need to mention an incense fragrance that you have to know about if you love the warm category. The fragrance is called Ma Nishtana by Prin Lomris. Genius Thai perfumer. Ma Nishtana, as far as I understood, is Hebrew. So you got warm 
incense, spices, smokiness, like you literally can feel the incense burning inside like synagogue, temple type vibes. Like you can list all the notes. There are plenty of notes. There are animalics, there's ambers. So again, warm ambery, but literally burning and warm and golden and going towards like deep orange incense in a temple. I grew up in Asia as a child, Southeast Asia, and this reminds me of going into the temples, the Buddhist temples where incense was burning. I love the scent. Personally, I can't wear it, but maybe that's something that you can wear. So go out and try it. So we've kind of hit the smoky. <laughs> we went from straightforward, solid, simple, pulled back to modern, ambroxinated, amplified, to weird, unusual to now burntish realistic um and this one is basically the burning incense version except it's based on a burning church Bois d'Assez by Naomi Goodsir one of my top fragrances as well from the very beginning this is literally like burnt down but beautiful like the aftermath of a bonfire the thing that's left over on your clothes after you've been having a good time singing around the fire, playing the guitar with your friends, except with incense as well, because in there is this concept of that it's actually a church. <laughs> Bois d'Assez, absolutely genius. Lots of other fragrances have tried to follow. I used to have Revolution by Trudon because I wanted something I don't know, this hobby makes you be like, I love this, let me get five more of the same thing. I don't need it. I just need Bois d'Assez, beautiful, Naomi Goodsir, the best smoky fragrance for me. Period. And there you have it, my top incense fragrances for you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment down below with your favorite incense fragrance. If it's one of these, that's absolutely great. If it's not one of these, please share it with the community. It's something that we need to try and I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate you. Love you. Bye.